I'm reading CSV data from an Amazon S3 object. If I look at it in preview, I can see that uh, all of the fields come through as strings, even though they're all uh, currency mounts. And this is really a feature of CSV. It doesn't carry any type information, but I want them to be doubles by the time I write them to the database. Now Streamsets Data Collector includes a field type converter but to use that, I either have to specify uh, all of the field names or an expression that evaluates to uh, the field names, a regular expression maybe. And I don't really want to do that because I'm processing data from uh, several different CSV files here with um, perhaps dozens of different field names. So specifying all of those individually uh, would be very tedious or I have to specify by data type. And that's if I wanted to say, turn all strings into uh, doubles, but I don't want to do that. I just want uh, ones that are actual uh, currency amounts with uh, decimal points in them. So I used our old friend, the field mapper to do exactly that. Now the field mapper lets me operate on the field paths. So the position of the field within the record, field names and uh, field values. And that's what I want to do here. And what I did was I constructed a regular expression that uh, looks at the field value. And if it matches uh, this regular expression here, um, I'm going to operate on that field. And it looks kind of intimidating, but it's kind of uh, straightforward to pick through it. So caret here is the beginning of the string. And what I'm saying is optionally, there might be a negative sign, a, a hyphen there. So it could be a, a negative amount. And then I've got one or more digits. That's this double backslash D uh, plus means one or more of them. And I definitely want a period in there. I really only want um, uh, numbers with uh, decimal points in them. And then I have uh, one or more digits after the period, and then dollar is the end of the string. So that's going to match uh, those kind of quantities that I saw uh, in my preview. And there isn't a, an expression language function to kind of cast a value from a string to a double, but that's okay because I can use uh, addition here. And addition will always give me whatever it, the type of its left operand is. And so if I just say 0, 0.0 plus the field value, then uh, let's take a look at what will happen. So as you can see, all my strings there are nicely converted to doubles by the uh, simple expedient of adding them to 0, 0.0.